Hey everybody, it's Jen Sheffer here. And in this video tutorial, we are going to be covering two new features in Seesaw for the 2021 school year. In response to teacher feedback, Seesaw has delivered several really powerful updates. So we're going to take a look at how to add video to the canvas and how we can include multiple links in our Seesaw posts and activities. So these are two really fantastic new updates that I think you'll find really useful as you start the new school year. So we are looking at these features in a BPS training Seesaw class. So what we're going to do is start by clicking on the add button and we are going to add video and multiple links in a student post. And we can also do this in activities, but for right now, we're gonna look at if we wanna add a post and we wanna add video and links, how would that look? So I'm gonna click on post student work. And once this opens, we're going to be clicking on the middle drawing tool right here. And on the left-hand side, you'll see that we have the camera button. So we're gonna click on that. And typically we had access to the camera to take a photo or we could upload photos from our computer or our mobile device. But now you'll notice that we also have the ability to add video. So we're gonna click on video and this becomes extremely powerful uh, for communication with students and families and making our directions explicitly clear. Um, it also allows us to give video feedback on student posts, which can also be, which will also be extremely powerful. So once that video uh, recorder opens from within Seesaw, and again, this will work on any device, but I'm on my Chromebook, um, you'll notice I have three different video buttons. I have two on either side. I have one on the bottom. So I'm just going to click on the bottom video record button here. And I have up to five minutes to record. If you need longer than five minutes, you can upload your video to Drive or YouTube and you can send your students a link in Seesaw. But five minutes is quite a bit of time to record. So I'm going to just talk to students really quick about a um, butterfly um, activity that they'll be doing. So I'm gonna click record. It's gonna count me down, three, two, one. Hi, boys and girls. I'm really excited that we are going to be learning all about butterflies. So you're going to listen to a story about butterflies. You're going to gather some facts about butterflies. And then we're going to learn specifically about the life cycle of a butterfly. So I've kind of given them a quick overview of what we'll be doing. And if I'm satisfied, I'm going to click done. So again, you can go in detail, in depth about what the students will be doing. Um, and this is really fantastic, especially if you have really, really young students. Um, they're not the strongest readers um, and you are going to be able to really give them um, concise, specific directions. So I think you'll really find this video feature um, really useful and powerful. Once the video is on your screen, you'll notice you have um, these handles here in the corner so you can drag and resize the video, which is a great feature. So you can build something here um, relatively quick that is aesthetically pleasing to the students. So what we could do here is we could add some text and we could say this is going to be all about butterflies and we can bring this text up here in the corner this is what the topic is going to be all about and if i click on my three dots i can format that i'm going to make this a script font i'm going to make it cursive i'm going to make it a bright blue and then from there, I can also click on my three dots and I can change the background of this. I'm gonna make it a nice bright yellow. And I can also go into the three dots. I can click on shapes and I can choose a square with the rounded corners. And I can drag this over onto my video. Drag it on top. I can click the three dots and go to order and I can send this to the back. So now my video looks like it has a little border to it. So that looks that looks really nice. 
So that's how you add video. It's really quick and easy. Um, again, if I click on the actual video, I'm going to click on the three dots. And it's best practice really to lock the elements that you don't want students to um, accidentally move, which they can do sometimes. So I'm going to click on lock. Um, I can do the same thing with my text up here. Click on the three dots, and I'm going to, going to lock that text. Just real quick, I wanted to point out that I'm going to unlock this real quick. If I go back to my three dots on my video, you'll notice that I can actually link a video. So I could instruct my students to click on the video when they're done watching it, and it will take them to an external website. Um, so that is a really cool feature too. You can link anything. You can link text, you can link videos, and you can link images. So um, if I need to delete the video, I can delete. I can also duplicate it if I needed to, but for now, I'm just going to go ahead and lock that video in place. So as I mentioned, we can now direct students to external websites from within Seesaw. So I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and just quickly add a couple more shapes because I want them to watch a video. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to hit the three dots and I'm going to duplicate. There's going to be three different things I want the students to do. So I'm going to just move those shapes here, position those, and I'm going to add some text. I'm going to add the word watch. So I want them to watch this video. So I'm going to go into YouTube, which is where I found the read aloud for the butterfly. And I'm going to just take a quick screenshot of this book cover. And I'm going to click copy. I'm going to go back into my seesaw. I'm going to click paste. It's going to put the cover of that book right here where the students are going to watch. And now I'm going to go back into YouTube and I'm going to click on that URL, I'm going to copy it. Control C on my Chromebook. I'm going to click on the three dots. I'm going to click on link and paste that URL and then hit my green check mark. Now this becomes a clickable link to the read aloud of the butterfly. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just quickly duplicate this text. I'm going to drag it over here, and this is going to be research. Sorry, it's a little laggy here, my Chromebook. There we go. Research, and I'm going to go into this great website that I found about butterfly facts. So I'm going to grab this. I'm going to grab this um, logo. I'm going to hit copy image. So I hit alt and then copy image. I'm going to go back into Seesaw. Control V to paste it. Now I may need to, I'm going to resize this logo so it can fit. And then what I'm probably going to do too is I'm going to change the color of my square. So that sticks out a little bit more. It's more um, prominent there. And then I'm going to click on link. And I'm going to grab the link for the Butterfly Facts website. I'm going to paste it. And I found that website through Kid Rex, um, a safe uh, a kid's safe search engine, Kid Rex, and I found the Butterfly Facts website. So I've kind of vetted it and made sure that it is appropriate for the kids. So there I have my research. And then the last thing I'll do is I'm going to click duplicate again. This is what I just kind of like as a little shortcut here. I'm going to click on this and I'm going to do, I'm just going to type learn. And then this website is from National Geographic Kids. So I wanna grab their logo, I'm gonna hit Alt, and then I'm gonna click Copy Image. 
So I can copy the National Geographic Kids logo onto this third square here. I'm gonna resize that logo so it will fit into my square. I'm gonna keep that color, or I might, I might change that to like a little, maybe a green in just a sec. So I'm gonna hit that three dots. I'm gonna go to link. I have my butterfly life cycle website from National Geographic Kids. I'm gonna grab that URL and I'm gonna paste it. Click the check mark. And now the th all three things that I want the students to do are here. I'm gonna just make that maybe like a dark. Uh, there we go. A little bit of a different color there. So now I have my video. I have the instructions for students to watch the read aloud or listen to the read aloud from YouTube. They can grab some um, facts about butterflies from the butterfly website. And then they're going to learn even more specifically about the life cycle from National Geographic Kids. And you'll notice they have the little um, link icon here indicating that these are linked to external websites. And again, remember, we can add multiple pages um, in our posts to students in our activities with students. And we can add, because we are a Seesaw for Schools uh, premium account holder as a district, we can add multiple videos, pardon me, we can add one video per slide um, to our posts in our activities. So there are many use cases for video um, in Seesaw explaining directions, actually demonstrating activities that we want them students to do, and feedback. Giving students feedback on their work through video is going to be extremely powerful as we start this new school year. So I hope you are excited about these new features, adding video and adding multiple links on uh, Seesaw posts and activities. And I look forward to additional tutorials and training videos. So thank you for watching and please reach out to me or any member of the VPS EdTech team if you have any questions um, about these two new features and we look forward to supporting you in this upcoming school year.